REDS software library for modeling and simulation of solar desalination systems. www.redslibrary.com Hi everybody, for Subhanahu Shah with you. Let's talk today about uh, flapless solar collectors, uh, simulator model, what is the main concept, and how can we run our model. Uh, flapless collectors are most common for solar thermal heat technology. The success of, of, uh, of an um, of a container uh, containing a dark color absorber plate with fluid circulation pa uh, passages away. A transparent cover to, in order to allow trans the transmission uh, operation of uh, solar energy into the, the enclosure. The sides and the back of the container are typically insulated in order to reduce heat loss uh, to the ambient air. Uh, actually, the, the such technology is, uh, we can um, categorize it as uh, a stationary in motion and uh, it's a flat with a concentration ratio no more than uh, one and uh, the maximum allowable temperature it is not exceeding over uh, 80 degrees Celsius uh, despite of uh, invocated tube collector or uh, compound parabolic uh, so, uh, solar collectors uh, typical flapper collector as is shown in uh, the four figure as you can see here this is the tubes and uh, uh, the header tubes as you can see normally around nine tubes uh, with uh, with the tube spacing uh, around 10 centimeter or nine from seven up to 10 centimeter uh, with attached the module is attached to the storage tank and so on uh, as you can see here in this schematic, a uh, solar area is, uh, is going to penetrate the, the glass cover, the glass cover, and uh, uh, the energy, the useful energy is going to hit the absorber plate, this absorber, which is attached to the tubes, uh, which is uh, operationally is going to transfer the heat uh, to the flow passing through the, uh, the tube. But sure, there is some kind of, of uh, thermal losses, reflection, convection from the glass cover. There is some kind of uh, heat radiation to the ambient. And inside we have convection to the uh, insulation uh, base and so on. And so on. Uh, the application of uh, flap collectors uh, are wide. It's, uh, it's a passive mode. It's, we can use it, uh, use it with the uh, thermos siphon. Uh, siphon system, uh, direct circulation, air heating system, space heating, uh, heat bomb system we can use, also, also CVC or evacuated tube collector we can use, and uh, with some, some application with uh, adsorption and absorption uh, units for, uh, uh, for refrigeration. Uh, in our model, we, it's, our target is to discover uh, operating condition, the effect on the performance, what is the heat transfer coefficients, um, what is the energy streams, exergetic streams, uh, performance analysis, uh, what is the performance of uh, changing the environmental operating conditions such as the temperature of the ambient, uh, solar radiation, uh, the thermal load, uh, uh, itself what is it if we are going to attach a swimming pool or a hot water storage tank or, or and so on what's the effect on uh, heat re heat uh, removal factor efficiency factor fin efficiency uh, flow factor exergetic analysis and so on uh, your model should be appear like this for uh, a collector model go to your destination folder Okay, and double clicking. Okay, uh, this is our model. Okay, flap lid so collect. Uh, we have to discover, we have to assign some inputs. Um, let them, let's uh, make some emphasizing. Okay, we can assign uh, the operating hours. 
Okay, Uberti goes. Uh, uh, how many hours that we are going to uh, to uh, preheat the, uh, the process or using uh, the process with uh, with uh, combined with uh, flap electrolyte collector? Okay. Suppose I'm going to use uh, uh, five hours uh, solar radiation. Uh, I will control this. You can increase. Uh, sure, you can use a uh, edit uh, space or a slider uh, for edit space you can enter a matrix matrix like this and it, it's a uh, you can consider it as a transient mode okay uh, solar um, wind speed I, I will consider average wind speed 0.5 meter per second uh, let's begin from 300 what per meter square ambient temperature Let's, I'll begin with uh, 20 degrees Celsius, 22 uh, in solar uh, field uh, temperature. Uh, maximum uh, solar field temperature is about uh, 60 degrees Celsius. It's um, the normal, quite normal. Okay, thermal load volume. Okay, suppose I'm going to. Uh, 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 Preheat a uh, swimming pool, uh, water tank, whatever. Therefore, we have to uh, enter the volume. Uh, uh, suppose I'm going for beginning from one meter cube, one meter cube. Number of glass covers, uh, normal one one glass cover. Is there some kind of flapping with double glass cover or something like this? A tilt angle, uh, I will keep it at. Uh, Let's go for 30 degree tilt uh, angle. Yes, this is glass cover emittance, uh, plate emittance, 0.96. Okay. Uh, we can uh, control edge overall losses. Uh, okay. And bottom losses. Okay. I'll keep these changes. Um, a tube spacing. Okay. As we know, uh, we, uh, normally we are talking about nine tubes, nine tubes no, as a normal. You can increase the tubes by reduce the spacing between the tubes. Therefore, I will keep uh, tube spacing at seven centimeters. A tube diameter, uh, tube diameter, is, uh, I think it's uh, two point five centimeters is quite interesting. Plate fin thickness, uh, five millimeters. And material, uh, suppose I'm going to use um, uh, copper, uh, therefore 3, 300, uh, 200, that's normal for good conduction, uh, good, good conductivity ratios, and so on. Okay, let's go for uh, dynamic modeling. Dynamic modeling, okay. Let's, let's set run and see as uh, it changes based on our uh, uh, selection. Okay, as you can see here, it's taking a little bit uh, time. Okay, now I'm going to uh, increasing uh, the solar radiation. Okay, increasing. I'm increasing solar radiation uh, up to let's go for uh, 600. Uh, uh, 700, suppose it's 800. Let's go for uh, ambient temperature effect. Also increasing, increasing up to 30 degrees Celsius. Suppose it's uh, so. You can add uh, signal generator. You can add signal generator block in order to uh, control all of these uh, environmental operating conditions. Okay. This is, let's go for outlet. Uh, solar uh, field temperature around uh, 80 degrees Celsius. Suppose I'm going for uh, um, thermal load. I'm increasing thermal load. So I, uh, I, I'm considering that I'm going to uh, to preheat a, a swimming pool with 
was 800 meter cube per day. Let's go for 800 meter cube per day. Okay. Yes, 800 meter cube per day. Okay. Let's see uh, such effect. Let's hit stop. Okay. And now we're going to discover some results. Okay. Here we are. This is this is uh, these are our results here as you can see here you are yes okay okay uh, this is plate plate at temperature as you can see here increasing uh, the operating conditions at all I mean uh, solar radiation uh, 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 ambient temperature elite uh, flat uh, elite temperature to the to the solar feed as you can see here increasing still uh, even increasing the thermal load uh, thermal load it, it's effective massive on the area as you can see here we are going to use uh, one point four uh, uh, almost ten thousand uh, meter cube as a, as a flat plate area uh, this is uh, mean plate temperature as you can see here this is mean plate temperature effect on the mean mean plate temperature increasing I'll choose this is the division between this is the average plate temperature and this is the stagnation plate temperature as you can see and this is a solar feed area the thermal load thermal load is uh, around uh, uh, 8000 uh, kilowatts of thermal energy needed uh, as you can see here this is mass flow rate around 40 kilogram per second and just some um, uh, efficiencies heat removal uh, factor flow factor uh, it's around between 0.6 up to 1 no, no more than 1 as you can see here and we have here all the, uh, the losses yes overall heat losses this is over total uh, heat transfer coefficient losses as you can see it's around uh, six watt per meter square degrees Celsius up to uh, near uh, seven deg uh, watt per meter square degrees Celsius. As you can see here, heat removal factor, efficiency factor, fan efficiency, fan efficiency almost near to the, to the one, impressive results. Uh, flow factor is quite interesting because we, we are. Uh, uh, as possible as we could, uh, we adjusted uh, the operative conditions for the optimized uh, at, at the optimized uh, levels. Therefore, we we have here the efficiency nearly and the flow factor nearly to the one. Efficiency of the thermal efficiency 66 percent. Um, uh, total irreversibility rate. Uh, Exergy, uh, I mean exergy structure rate, uh, exergetic efficiency is uh, around uh, six uh, percent, and exergy and elite exergy. This is elite exergy. Uh, okay, user can easily uh, control uh, the operating conditions, uh, breathing hours, uh, and uh, uh, some inputs in order to uh, study the effect on the, 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 the solar field performance for uh, you can as a user you can change uh, the flow this is a water this tap water uh, therefore you can change these uh, properties of, uh, of obtaining water you can change uh, the working flow easily you can uh, you can just uh, uh, um, editing this uh, lookup tables. It's for enthalpy, entropy, uh, density, specific capacity. If you change this, uh, you can change uh, the working flow uh, performance results, and it's edit full editable uh, to the user. Okay. Uh, Finally, don't forget to download uh, the cooling tower thermodynamic model. It's quite an interesting model. It's about uh, the design uh, for the cooling tower. 
regarding uh, to the controlling of some kind of uh, of uh, operating conditions such as water temperatures uh, thank you for watching don't forget to like share subscribe thank you very much